for tuning in to another week of our Business of the Week for a Living. I am here with Kelly, who is one of the owners for Air Home. She owns business with her and her husband, Zach. Yeah. And I'm so excited to talk to you today. So how long have you lived in Central Florida? Um, I've lived in Central Florida since I was in second grade, since I was seven years old. Oh, wow. So a really long time. Uh, my husband and I, we actually met in fifth grade. Aww. He gave me a locket on the playground. <laughs> um, and then we started dating again our junior year of high school. We both went to Florida State University. And after graduating from there, we moved to California for a few years. But other than that, we've been here in Central Florida. Now you know what everyone's going to know. Do you still have the locket? No, I don't. <laughs> I wish I did. That I would make a it. great start. Yeah. Wouldn't it? <laughs> I know. What made you decide to open up Air Home? Well, we have six children, and our youngest turned four this year. And this has been a dream that I've had for a long time. We actually managed Rachel Ashwell's Shabby Chic store out in Malibu and we lived in California and I fell in love with the shop life and so it's just been a dream and this yeah. felt like the right time. Tell everyone a little bit about the name Air Home. Well we have six children and they are all named after literary characters and books that we love. So we had had the name Air when we knew we were pregnant with Diggory, our last baby, in case he was a girl. And we really loved it, so when we decided to open the store, uh, we just, Zach asked me, he was like, what are we going to call it? What do you want to name it? And I said, I think it's Air. Like, I think yeah. it's our seventh baby. Right. And, and you so, know, it's funny because I do hear people that have own businesses, like, this was their, their it baby. Feels it that way, feel for like sure. That. Like, the pregnancy <laughs> and the preparation <laughs> and the exactly. birth. So, yeah, so yes. Air's from Jane Eyre. Yeah. What is something that surprised you? You know, I know you worked at the place in California at that boutique. What was different from that experience to now actually owning your own business that surprised you? Well, <laughs> um, there's a lot that goes into curating and selecting the products. Um, I had never done that right. when I worked in the shop. Actually figuring out what we were going to carry in our store. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little bit harder than I thought at first. My sister actually gave me some really great advice. One day I was overwhelmed and shopping and I had put all this stuff in a cart and I was like, I feel like this customer would like this and this customer would like this. And I had so many people in my mind as I was trying to shop for the store. And she said, I think you need to start over and think about what you love and what really speaks to you. And so I started thinking that way as I shopped, just what do I really love? What do I feel like would be a really special item to have in our store? What was it like when you first started? Well, <laughs> we learned a lot. Um, we had a couple, a couple little snafus, like Zach uh, purchased I can't remember how many like loads of tissue paper, not realizing <laughs> how much it was. Um, so that was really funny. We also had not been inventorying our merchandise as we were receiving it. Mm -hmm. So we got everything unpacked and then realized, oh, if we want people to be able to buy things, <laughs> it needs to be priced in, in the system. And right. so that's a really big deal when you have this many different items. Um, we were so excited and it was so, magical to have people coming in and saying like, oh, we've never had anything like this yeah. in Orlando. I love this. This is beautiful. I what is something What is something that people don't know about Air Home that you would like for them to know? Well, I think that um, something that might be surprising to customers when they first come in is the array of merchandise that we carry. Uh, some people think of us as just a gift shop or just a furniture shop, but we have so many housewares and home decor items. We have children's, we have a beautiful linen bedding. We carry coffee and the products you need to make coffee, um, lots of barware. We just have candles, soaps, gifts, yeah. um, but something that we really love about our store and feel like is sort of the foundation is our furniture. We carry a line um, called Cisco Furniture that we really, really love and believe in. Um, 
So that was that was the first. Yeah. I was going to say, was it, it the, the couch was the inspiration of the springboard for the store? It was. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because okay. I still remember that story, and it's yeah. a good one. Back and I, we love New York City. We honeymooned there. We try and go a couple times a year. It's just like our place. And so every time we go visit, we would go to ABC Carpet and Home, um, which has always been one of my favorite stores. And we would sit on this Cisco sofa and dream about buying it and talk to the sales lady about buying it and um, just like sit there and, and try and figure out is there any way we can buy this sofa <laughs> but the years went on we keep going and sitting on the sofa and then for an anniversary zach surprised me and bought the sofa and this was before the store it was sort of the first line we were like okay let's call and see if we can get cisco yes. furniture in our store and if they say yes like i feel like the this shop's a go or we called and they said they would love for us to carry their furniture they're just a wonderful, a wonderful beautiful company, company. So how long ago would you say that was that you sat on that couch for the first time maybe 15 years ago. So isn't it, I mean, I love when you can look back and think, who would have known 15 years ago just sitting on a couch with springboard, like all of this, yes, like it's just amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now this is gonna be my most, probably my favorite. Where did you get the idea for the Narnia closet, <laughs> which is your children's section? It is our favorite part of the store. We got the inspiration from the wardrobe in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Diggory, our son calls it his wardrobe because <laughs> he, in the story, it is Diggory grown up. That he's the professor right. in the story, so it's his wardrobe. So Diggory comes in, he's like, "Hey, where's my wardrobe?" <laughs> and goes back to it. That was that was our inspiration. Was the wardrobe part of your? Business it was. Plan we you... didn't know how we were gonna find it or figure out how to right. make it happen. I think we probably would have tried to build something if we couldn't find an old vintage one, but it was, it really was Zach's vision mm -hmm. and he was like, we are figuring this out, like whatever the cost, we're gonna make this happen. We've had, we've had a couple adults step into the wardrobe and start crying and just Aww. say like, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I don't know why I'm crying, but just, I, yeah. I love that it can kind of take your breath away and transport you. So one of the things that I have um, saw is you were throwing some events. Mm -hmm. Are there any fun events coming up that um, your customers and we should know about? Yes, um, so we've started having these paint the bubbly nights. Uh, we so paint champagne bottles and have champagne cocktails. Um, we've done that as birthday parties, bridesmaids luncheon, and then we also just, as air home, we throw a couple. So could um, someone, if they wanted to do a bridesmaid party, or even just a girls' night out, could they contact you and set up a time to yeah. do that? Yes, oh, definitely. So have some holiday Yay. paint the bubbly parties that we are planning, and some ornament painting oh. parties. So my very last thing is, so what is the best way for someone to contact you for these events, or what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Okay, well we have a store phone, so okay. you can call us on that. Uh, we have an Instagram, it have a Facebook, and um, a website. We're really working on our website. It's there, but it's not fully up and running. And I will yeah. put everything in our descriptions. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for tuning in. And if you know of a business, be highlighted and have them featured in our Business of the Week, please contact me. And thank you so oh, much. Thank this you for great. having me. Yeah, this was you. so fun. It was fun. Thank <laughs> <Thanks>. you. <laughs>